Um, Tiffany, where are you from? My name Quat. I'm from Atlanta. Your name is what? Quat. <laughs> Quiet. Quat. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Cool. What? And you're from Atlanta. Yeah. Y'all ready? Quiet, be quiet, y'all. <laughs> quiet. Yeah, I'm waiting on y'all. Yeah. Quiet line. <laughs> okay, Shanice. I just want to say, I don't know why everybody like you. I'm not saying I don't like you. I'm just saying I don't know why everybody like you because you sitting right there up there with them. Anytime they come for Sean, you back him up, all that. So I'm trying to figure out why they like you so much. They like her because she's an amazing person with great energy. Okay. All right. And then I don't like how you be trying to be funny with Olivia. Like you be you you the one that make it awkward. They think Olivia, they think Olivia make it awkward, but it be really be you. Like, Ooh, yeah, like when she walk me. off, you laughing. Like you just make it weird, keep looking at her sideways. Like, I don't know why you be doing it, making it weird, like laughing with the crowd. Like, like if you were there with them together, it's all three of y'all. Don't be trying to be funny with like the comments, like. Like you, you make it you make it awkward. Just to make sure, I didn't mean to cut you off, but this is still towards me, correct? Yes. Okay, keep going. I want to. My question was, why do you do that? Like, why do you laugh? Be trying to. We know you be trying to hide it, but you're not hiding it. Like we clearly see that. So. If I think something is funny, I will laugh. Um, in regards to like if. My love and Olivia are laughing, and I'm not. Then I must not think. I don't think it's funny, and mm -hmm. I'm not going to pretend for anyone. So that's just about it. Okay, that's all. But I like you, Shanice. I like Aya. I really ain't got no problem. Thank you. Um, How long have you been watching the lives? Um, I used to see y'all like a long time ago on live, but I just used to keep scrolling. But now I be watching because they begin on y'all. But, <laughs> but okay, Sean, I'm just going to say you would hate me because ain't no king and ain't no all that. My nickname is bitch. Let me just put it out there. His name is bitch. I like, to, I like to use that too when I'm getting freaky. You know what I'm saying? Only in the bedroom do I do that. Mm. Do I say that? You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. <laughs> but what I'm going to say um have you ever had like a female that didn't want to like go with that like didn't yeah. want to like listen to you they they had a mouth on them like... no i personally think that all women no matter how masculine they are when they get in the presence of a man that they respect and admire they're always going to be feminine like no matter what so I will say this, you can't be that dude to mm -hmm. every single girl you come across. Some girls will just never respect you, whether it's for you don't do it for them, they don't like your energy, they don't like the way you look, they don't like the way you carry yourself, wh whatever reason. Um, but I just don't typically, <laughs> no, funny I, don't, cool. I, don't, I, don't, I don't align myself with women that are not like attracted to me. So every woman I've ever been with was like super like nice and feminine to me. And if they weren't, it's because I did something in the relationship to mess it up. Mm. Okay, well that's it. I ain't got nothing to say. I, I like y'all. I don't know why people. I don't know why people like trying to look stuff up about y'all, air y'all out. Like, if, why y'all trying to not do for hustle? Like, that's all. That's my question. Like, just let them do their thing. Y'all watching? Y'all watching? Don't be trying to look stuff up. Expose these for like what these folk did y'all? They on here like everybody else. Yeah, where you from? But, okay, bye. That's it. You sound a little country. Yeah, country. I like it. Okay, Bye. Hi. You got a, you got a business? Um, also meets. That's basically my name. That's my last name on Instagram. Also meets. That's it. I'm in Atlanta though. We got a lot of Atlanta people in here. We do. Always. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming so funny. I know. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. She was nice. Tupac code. Tupac code. Ooh. Ooh. Hey. Hey, Tupac code. Oh my god, I've been trying to get on here for freaking months. <laughs> Three months? Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's your name? Where are you from? Thank you for how do I uh turn on the camera? Oh, I see it. I look raggedy. Hold on. Save. Okay. Hey. Hi. 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 Hey. Am I really on here? Oh my god. Yes, you are. I gotta go in the room because I'm with my niece and my nephew. Hey, y'all. Hey. What's your, what's, your name? what's your name and where are you from? My name is Ro. I'm from Florida. Nice. Okay, Ro. Um, what, how long have you been watching us? I've been watching y'all for like. Two months. Wow. Thank you. Appreciate the support. What Thank is your you question, bro? I have a lot of questions. A lot. A lot of questions. Okay. My first question. So, Shanice, when you were on deployment and like y'all were talking about all this stuff, like, um, were you always interested in Polly, or like did he convince you? So in regards to our relationship, uh, we initially spoke about bringing additional women into our relationship and I was all for it. And what that looked like evolved like over time. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Okay, so uh, and another question. How often do y'all go live? Right now, every day. Okay, so... Is this not weird to you? Like, Olivia, okay, now Olivia's 20. I'm 23. Even when I was 20, like, men, like, but, like, 15 years older than me kind of gave me the ick. Like, it was like, ugh. So what, like, made you, like, be with Sean? And how was he different from your last man? Like, how did he convince you, like, yeah, I'm the one? He didn't, he didn't really convince me of anything. I just... Uh, divine alignment and by that I meant that um okay what's divine alignment though like divine alignment let's talk about like real like real connection like okay what do you mean that's how I'm explaining it okay didn't they say like you were living with your boyfriend hey like back home? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay my bad I'll be looking at the clips my bad I know they be edited whatever oh but um I did watch your dad live. Was he said you were living with him, right? Living with who? My dad? Or yeah. I I was living with my dad. No, I I have never lived with my dad. Uh, okay, so Shanice, I'm gonna just go back to Shanice. So how do y'all like rotate time? And then no. Are you okay with, like, Sean basically telling you that, well, both of y'all, that, like, you know, he not going to change no diapers or nothing? Well, I don't have a problem with him telling me that I don't have to work um, and that, like, everything, let's just say hypothetically speaking, I was with someone that did change diapers. But I still had to go to work for eight to ten, maybe twelve hours a day. Still had to take care of the house and my children. I understand, like from what I see from mothers that are in the Navy, it is a lot. It's a lot to do. It's a lot to deal with, and there's a lot of stress with that. And I can just, I can only imagine for women that are not in the Navy and don't have as much help or support, it is even harder. So for me to like be able to spend more time with my family and take care of my, my children and be completely taken care of, provided for, and protected, like I am completely fine with that.
that makes sense. But like, what if you had a man? Okay, what if a man that came with you was doing the same thing Sean was doing, but uh, he was there physically. Like, he was helping you. He was changing diapers. He was feeding the baby, doing all of this stuff. Except you had to work at least like what 10, 15 hours a week at max. Would you be with that man? Um, huh? I want to be with this man. Okay. And you're okay with sharing your man with like six other people while taking care of a baby and doing full motherhood and taking care of other the other six women's kids too? This is what we discussed early on in our relationship. Okay. So if y'all got if y'all decided to have a kid, which is like y'all are are is he getting all seven of y'all pregnant? Hopefully. And y'all gonna live in one big house. Multiple kids, multiple women, and Sean. If that's what they want. Okay, who's the third girl? I keep seeing like the clips or whatever, like him with another girl. That's a question for you though, Sean. You gonna see clips of me with a lot of girls. That's all I'm gonna tell you. I'll let y'all figure out who's the third queen. But uh, just okay, it's the third. Probably. It's the third queen gonna start getting on live. Maybe. Is she gonna live with y'all? Maybe. And you finna be having sex with three different girls, no protection, no nothing. Maybe. May you said maybe. <laughs> And Olivia, like, are you okay with having kids at such a young age? You don't think motherhood would be, like, stressful on you? <laughs> no. I think it would be the best thing ever. It would be so exciting. To be pregnant at 20 years old. Who I said never she said 20 pregnant. years old. 20, okay, between 21 and whatever, like, you okay with having kids? Because you're a kid now. Who said, who said I was having kids anytime soon? I'm just asking a question. Because I'm 23 and I don't see myself having kids. Like I have my niece and my nephew now, but like I don't see myself having kids. I can just drop my kids off. Like uh, I can have kids around the age of 25. You say you want to have kids around the age of 25? Okay, that's valid. Me too. Me too. Okay. Her, by the way, it looks so unique. The show huh? was cute. I love your hair, by the way. It's so unique. The show. Oh, thank you. I just did it. It's so unique. I love it. They talking about getting me all okay. Y'all ask the same question. What I get on here? I have a lot of questions. And then when you add people on here, like, I didn't think y'all was going to me. I was literally just watching the live and I was like, oh, okay. And then I looked and it was like, oh, you on. I was like, oh, shit. But, <laughs> yeah. So, um, how big is y'all penthouse? How many bedrooms? Huh? Two, two bedrooms? Yeah. Are y'all renting it? Y'all renting it, right? right. You, can, you can't buy this penthouse. Okay. So, yeah. The only option is to rent. So, y'all, how much is it a month? That's the question for the one that pays it. Okay, Sean, how much is this a month? Oh, he's on a phone call right now. It's about 8 8000 a month for a two bedroom? Mm -hmm. The view? Have you seen the view? In San Diego. I have seen the view. But, um. It's even better in person. The, the, the live, the videos, the pictures don't do it justice. It's like insane. Okay. So, question, Olivia. How is your relationship with your dad, like, now? Doing good. Doing good. Yeah. Okay, regardless of, like, what, well, he's not bashing you on live or nothing, but, like, how is it, you're, like, you're seeing him on live, but, are, like, are you addressing this to him, like, in person, and are you okay with how he, how, like, Sean was talking to him, not how he was talking to him, but, you know, like, I would never let a man, like, get on there and speak for me, like, in place of my dad or about my dad, like, how, like, you don't feel no type of way about I that? Know. I don't I wasn't there. I don't know what happened on that live, and I haven't even seen a single clip, so I don't really know. No, I'm talking about on your live, like, when you were on live, and oh, okay. Sean, yeah, and Sean spoke for your dad, like, how, how did you feel about that? He was just speaking on what he sees. Huh? He was just speaking on the things that he has observed from the situation, 
I don't think there's anything wrong about speaking about what you observed. Yeah, but like he was on live with your dad and he was really when your dad said something to him, he said something like, Uh, oh, what happened with you and your mom? Like you and Olivia mom, like you really think that's his place to do that? I mean, it was just a question. I mean, we're all here to like speak transparently and if you wanna speak on like my life and make things like, Oh, this is how this is when you're not in the relationship why is it not fair to ask how was your relationship too since you want me to share everything about my relationship why don't you share about yours because the point that because the point is not really about the relationship we weren't really caring about getting into that we don't really care about getting into that what the what the actual thing that we're trying to conclude is that like if your relationships in the past have not been successful, like who are you to really speak on a successful relationship and what it takes? You're not even in one right now. Like why would you take, why would you take like advice from somebody that doesn't have receipts type thing? Like why would you take information from somebody you wouldn't want to sp switch spots with in terms of relationships? That was kind of the point of it all, right? Because everyone, it's easy to like basically call somebody else out and like, talk bad on them and their situation and their relationship, but for you to confront yourself and also share what you've been through in the past is different, right? People are so easy to point the finger and blame. That, <laughs> that makes sense. But at the same time, like, I could see if you was saying that about like a friend, like a friend was doing that, but that's literally your father. Like, I see where you was going with it, but that's your dad. Like your dad, of course he has a like place to say that. That's your dad. Like, he just want the best for you or whatever, like every dad do, most dads, I guess. But yeah, his relationship wasn't successful, but he owned up to that. Like he said that. It's not really like his place. And then y'all ain't been together that long at that. So yeah. it's not really his place to like go on live in front of thousands of people and ask him that. That's a personal question. And yeah, yeah. I've seen a comment that said real fathers. Real fathers not gonna do that, but it's like if I'm telling that's like telling your your man your drama or whatever, and your man go to your friend and be like, "Why you did this? Why you do that?" Like that's not your place, you know? Yeah, I don't think there was anything wrong with the conversation, and there's nothing wrong with asking questions. And if you're like avoiding the question, like why? Why is that? We're just having like an authentic conversation. But your man does that. He literally avoids questions. What are you talking about? Okay, give me an example. An example is every live. Like, <laughs> not always the voice okay. questions. Okay, so if it's every live, which one? Which one? Like, what is an example? Uh, an example like, how are you a success coach? He do not be answering them questions. He does. He, he does. don't. Mm, okay, okay. So from my understanding, what how I interpreted his answers is that. He is in a spot that is successful to him. So success might look different for somebody else. You know, maybe somebody's success, financial success is making $100,000 a year. Maybe another person's success is making half a million. Um, he has gotten to a point where he's like met the goal of I have a million dollar company, meaning that that might be somebody's version of success right there. So why would he not um, use that skill set and use his experience to help other people get to that point too. Okay, yeah, but he not helping nobody, and I know that. I DM Sean myself. He ain't respond to me. Okay, I I completely understand, and believe me, <laughs> he takes full responsibility for that. He's actually helping a lot with that and making sure that everyone's answered. Literally, he has over eight hundred messages. I know you guys are gonna be like. Oh my gosh, that's cat. But literally, no. Like, we're on live every single day. We do call to action. Sometimes we don't. There's girls in there. There's business people in there. I need credit. I want to make 10 to 15K a month. Different people coming from everywhere, all over the country and the world. All right, another question. So, uh, this is why I don't believe that this is fake. Because I remember 2021 or 2022. I remember seeing on my For You page that you posted their relationship with Sean, but I didn't know it was Polly because I never saw Shanice in the, like, post or whatever. Yeah. So you posted the Rolexes, like, you posted all that. What happened to the Rolexes? So right now, we haven't made that a priority to actually get them. 
But so, you got them though. It, it said we got matching Rolexes. Yeah, so that's my fault. I take full responsibility. Should have definitely put the text differently, but so what we're, was gonna that get them. we're gonna get them. It's just right now it hasn't been a priority to actually like put money towards it. We're putting our money towards assets right now. That's our like our main number one priority. But you don't have any assets. You said that. No. We you do. have assets? We do. Okay, because in another live, like every live was like, you know, they said you don't have none. And then you told that your dad said that you put them on low way. Yep. You put them, you put if, them on low way. If that's what you want to call it. If that's what you want to call it. Yes, we're, we're, we're paying the Rolexes. It's literally, I, I think. You just like, said that it's not I, a responsibility. Now you're saying that we're paying for it. I'm confused. <laughs> Yeah, we've paid partial of the Rolexes. We've put like I think he's put over like thirty k on them, or something. I don't. I don't really Denise, know. Do you have a Rolex well, too? All that three y'all got matching Rolexes. They do match. You got you got one too. He's making payments on three separate Rolexes. Yes. I'm trying to think about the total. I feel like the total is like 70 or something. I don't know. I need, I need to check. 70, 80, 90. I don't know. But you should have to pay. He's, the one making, he's the one making the payments towards it. So I don't really know much about it. So we're not the right people to ask. So y'all, so Sean makes 40,000 a day, 30,000 a day, and he can't pay 70K for Rolexes. He you know also runs a business. He runs a business. He has to pay people. He has to pay for business expenses. He has, he's going putting money towards actual assets that will make us money each month. Sometimes Rolexes are not going to be the number because it's not going to make us money. Right now we are putting our money in a position to make us more money because we care about freedom at the end of the day. We don't care about having stuff. So when you guys ask the shoes, the bags, why don't you do this, that, and the other? It's just not a priority. So, I mean, yeah, but it's nice. Y'all want it. Y'all having fun. Like, 70K for three Rolexes and y'all making all this money a day. And y'all y'all can't just split down the middle or nothing? Like, again, we're putting our money towards stuff that will make us money. Like, literally, I don't think you understand. Like, I, I don't. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm really trying to understand. I don't, though, because you didn't already you told me. You mean us pay for them? No, y'all got that much money. Just help them. If he taking so long, that post was in oh, that's po that post. That post was two years. No. That post okay, were two. My thing is, why would I be like in the house or going to my my daily job with a relic on? Right now? Yeah, I'm not really like, but that, we're not pressed about this stuff. We're really not pressed about it. It will be. Exciting. We're not pressed about it. It's just the math thing. Math thing. Like the the post was two years ago. He's still paying on two ro two Rolexes from two years ago. Girl, it was not two years ago. That was okay. definitely that was definitely like six seven months ago. That was not Olivia. I saw her. Bro, if, okay, go to my page. Go back to go. To I'm not going to go to your page because I, I saw I saw that a little minute ago. It's just catching up to you, ain't it? Okay. Well, I'm gonna look at the post right now. Sean, I'm Sean is back. Sean, I have so many questions for you. Got the she got the Rolex question. Now nah, I'm off the Rolex. I already confirmed the Rolex. That was 2021. That's two years, ain't it? No. Just, just, just. go ahead. Sean, did they know that you were still married? Yeah, I'm transparent about everything. Are you in um like the process of a divorce or something? I mean, I don't want to like really like you know speak on that, you know. So anybody that's like public information, anybody can go and look that up. Yeah, but you literally just asked her dad on live what happened with his divorce. But it's not public information. Well, I, I've, said, I've, said, I've said plenty of times that I failed at, failed at marriage. So like, I don't know what you guys want me to like say to that. Yeah, you thought you was transparent. I am transparent. But you don't want to talk about this, but you can ask another grown but man about it online? Yeah, I like, I like failed at it. So like, what, do you, what do you want me to say? I want you to answer the question like how you want her daddy answer the question. What do you want to say? Like, I failed at it. I was a terrible leader. No, I said, are you like getting the divorce? Like, you say you don't want to talk about it. I'm just asking, like, no, I just don't want to talk about it. I mean, that's just like a like. All a, right, well, what happened? Like okay, you're like just asking me like a lot. <laughs> I'm asking you the same question over and over and over again, and yeah. you're not answering it. You're kind of dodging it. Right, let me, I'm, so I'm just. I try to. T I try to help you guys. I try to. I try to help you guys out. I told you guys I'm like retarded. So. Mm. 
Yeah, I can see now. Okay, so I'm gonna ask. Okay, I'm gonna ask it simple. The question is: Are you in the process of getting a divorce? Yes. And do you know what is gonna be finalized? Because when do you plan on marrying well, Shanice? Because I know you said that if you marry somebody. Here, well, my question to you is like whether it's finalized next week or whether it's whether it's whether it's finalized a year from now. Like, what difference does it make? You can't marry multiple people at one time. That's why you can't marry multiple people at one time anyway. So like my marriages won't involve the government. I tried a traditional marriage and I failed at it. Like what is what point are you making? I've, I've said this 50 million times. Like, hey, I failed at marriage. I failed at relationships. I failed at monogamy. I was a bad leader. I had a bad effect on people. Like, why are you talking about how did it feel? Like no, because like I've said it like so much. I'm just trying, it just seems a little like repetitive. I'm not trying to be like rude, but you just keep asking the same question like over and over and over again. Yeah, because you never answered it, but now you you answered it and you asked me why I was answering it. So I was I answering it because I'm trying to is, tell the you. Thing is, the thing is this, you, you cut me off when I'm trying to talk. If you like listen to my answer, then you will get the answer that you want. All right. Um. So who are you getting pregnant first is my question. Like if you wanted to, who would it be? Um, I don't know. Have you been with Shanice the longest? Yeah. Okay, so on another live that you you said that you and Shanice like weren't dating when you met Olivia, like it wasn't like official or whatever. Um, I actually met Olivia first, so I met Olivia first on LinkedIn, but our relationship was not romantic at all. Like I did not see her like that, like at all. Okay, romantically, you was with Olivia first, right? And Shanice first, right? Yes. Did you answer? You heard me? Yes, yes. Oh, what did you say? Because I asked you, like, um, were you with... I, I said yes, but you just keep talking. You don't, you don't hear me. I don't, you know, no, I didn't hear nothing. I wasn't even talking, but... Okay. So, Bruh. you... What? Nothing. You heard that, though, huh? I heard something. Bruh. Anyways, so... Um, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I was trying to like read the comments because they told me about something and I was trying to answer it or whatever. But so why are you building with them if you're still married? And technically, if you build, you know, your wife can like well, kind of take it off. You, you, first of all, you can set up an irrevocable trust to like override that. Second, there's actual like paperwork. People have no idea what they're talking about. You know what I mean? People be like separated and just like have like paperwork issues in like a marriage. Just, that's, pretty, that's probably like 30% of people who are like, not 30, I'd probably say like 20% of like people. So it's something that like will we'll get like handled. It literally does not really like affect my life. So it'll get handled. Thank you for that though. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm just reading the comments. That's all. They told me actually well, that's fine. You, you're supposed to be up here. What are, you, what are your questions? My question was about the Rolexes because they weren't really answering the questions. I was trying to talk to Olivia about it. I tried to talk to Shanice. They told me I asked you. Yeah. I put, a deposit okay. on, I, I put a deposit on Rolexes and when I feel like it, I'll like complete the purchase. Like what What? what more needs to be said? So it's not if, you go, if, you go, if you go look at my post, it says Rolex is like loading. Meaning like, hey, like soon in the future you barely interact on tiktok unless it's on live that's why nobody goes to your page everything is on like really on go to, Olivia. Go, to, go, to, go to my instagram that's my fault i take full responsibility for that yeah, i don't have ig but um okay so it's not on low way okay so did you ever like in private did you ever talk to olivia's dad about like the whole situation or whatever I mean, we had a preliminary conversation, but I don't feel like we had a conversation that was long enough to make him comfortable with it, um, with the situation or with me as a man. Just that's mm -hmm. just my two cents. And I look forward to having that conversation with him in the future. OK, well, I never heard him like say he had a problem about pro uh, polygamy. The only problem I think he was talking about was that he felt like you weren't leading. Do you think like you could just like. He said that I wasn't leading. Basically, he was like, um, y'all didn't watch. Did y'all not watch his live? No. No. Okay. Because he, he literally tagged y'all in it. 
I know. A lot of like, people tag us in a lot of stuff. My bad, baby. Go ahead. What are you saying? I was going to say, how is he not against polygamy? But the, the literally the title of that live was Jesus is a jealous husband, the evil of polygamy or something like that. How is he not against polygamy if that's the title? Y'all didn't. So you didn't watch it, but you knew what it was about. No, I knew the title because I saw the Instagram post and I'm more active on Instagram. Um, so I saw the title of the post, but yeah, I didn't I hear him. Like he's definitely against polygamy. Like that was the title of his post. Okay, yeah, I watched it. I watched um, that that one that you're talking about. He didn't really like bash or nothing. Cause Sean, I heard you like saying he was bashing his daughter on the internet. He never bashed her. Like nothing, even on when he was on live with Aunt Karen. Like never bash Olivia or nothing. She ain't, he ain't even bash y'all. Like he didn't say nothing bad about nobody. He was just saying like, um, he didn't feel like Sean was leading. I know these niggas ain't pause. He didn't. He said he didn't feel like you were leading, Sean. So like, okay. do you feel like you know, know what his what definition of leading is? I don't. I'm not really concerned about. You know, I'm sorry that Mr. Appleberry feels that way, but I can't concern myself with like other people's opinions on me. At the end of the day, I gotta wake up and be the best me. Um, and be the best leader that I can be. So I don't think if the, I don't think that Olivia would be with me if I wasn't a leader. Just knowing the caliber of person that she is, just knowing how powerful she is, how smart she is, how beautiful she is. I don't think she would be with me. I don't think Shanice would be with me if I wasn't a leader, just knowing how smart she is, how powerful is she, she is, how capable she is. I just don't think either of them would be with me if I was not a leader. Okay, so Shanice, you're in the military, right? You can't get in trouble for being with a married man while in the military? It's a good question. Yes, you can. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. All you gotta do is show documentation that you're legally separated and like you're good to go. So there you go. Oh, I didn't know you guys, that. You guys know that's like a, you, you guys know that's like a thing, right? Like you could just be separated from somebody. Like, no, because my brother is in the military and he was separated and he's well, still well, like, yeah. Well, you guys, you guys, again, you guys, again, I don't know what you guys be trying to like do and like. Do you I guys mean, know people. How, do you guys do you guys know how long some like divorces like take? Like, you yeah, divorces take like, years. Oh wow, really? You didn't know that? Gee, golly gosh, look at that. You answered <laughs> yeah. your own question. Divorces take years. How long has it been, though? I don't know. You tell me. You the, you guys are the ones that got everything all figured out. Okay, well, how long you used your other girl before you just started going out and getting multiple girls? Like, usually when you marry somebody, you know, and then you leave, well, it don't work out. Like, you didn't take no time to heal or nothing. You don't seem like it. You seem really like, you, you got trauma. That's obvious. So yeah, how long was it before you went and started yeah. dating yeah. other females? You know what? I do got a lot of trauma. And guess what? I did come That's from, not the question. I, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did come from a messed up background. And I did fail at relationships. And I've been homeless. And I did fail in the military. But guess what? Wisdom is pain overcome. And you talk to any great man, and I promise you, any leader, anybody that's achieved great things is going to have overcome a lot of trauma in their life. 100%. Just because you have trauma doesn't make you a victim. It doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you less than. Literally, a lot of the times you guys feel like you're being buried with all the adversity, but really you're being planted. The, lessons that, you, the lessons that you learn in failure prepare you for your success. All right, that's heartfelt. That's heartfelt. I'm proud of all of my trauma, and I have a lot of wisdom. The reason why I practice what I practice is because I've had kind of like big big failures and i understand them. that wasn't the question though. that's my answer though what they gotta do with what i asked you i asked you how I long was it before you started talking to other girls and you started talking about trauma i don't care know, about your trauma I, Okay. I, already can, I can see your trauma. So I'm just you asking. You, like, don't, you don't care about my trauma, but you tell me you got a lot of trauma. And I, me owning my trauma, you got a lot like, of Baby, that's an observation. That's not me trying to come heal you. I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you 
how long was it before you started talking to other women out there? You, listen, you're divorced listen, and you telling me about trauma and how you was homeless. Listen, I don't care about that. I'm asking the question. At the end of the day, do you have a question about my relationship? I'm not, I'm, I'm not here to talk about, hey, what did I eat for lunch in the fourth grade? Like, come on. Like, at, at some point, it I'm asking, asking, I'm asking listen, about Listen, that. listen, listen. Let me make this perfectly clear. This is the last time I'm going to address it. I faced a lot of traumatic experience. I, in previous relationships, I was a shitty leader. I failed at marriage. I failed in the military. I've been homeless for. I've been. I've been. I failed so much, but it has given me the wisdom that I need to succeed in life. And I'm not trying to say, oh, my life is perfect. That's not what I'm trying to say. But I have learned a lot of lessons. I've taken those ills and I turned it into victory. And for me, I'm dedicated to sharing those lessons with you all. Why do you think I say monogamy doesn't work? I failed at it. So, with that being said, mm -hmm. respectfully. We can sit up here and keep asking these questions, but it feels like it's going in circles. Do you have a question about my current relationship? About your current relationship. Okay, you feel like, ma, ma, what it was, monogamy? You feel like people that date, like, other people, it don't work out. Okay, and then you said something. I know your last live, because I was watching last night. You was talking to somebody about how, like, you can be with multiple women, but, like, you can be with one person, and they'll cheat on you. It's kind of the same thing, right? What? Oh Lord! You gotta, you gotta talk to me like I'm a gerbil, man. I told you I get lost quick. I'm gonna talk to you like you a grown ass man. Stop asking dumb when I ask you questions. Please understand. Oh, I'm sorry. Guidelines. Guidelines. Okay, I'm ask. Okay. Everybody else said they was lost too, but go ahead. <laughs> okay. Last um last night when you were on live, you were talking to somebody. And telling them, um, being with one, being in a relationship with one person is kind of the same thing, and them cheating is the same thing as like polygamy, right? Who? Mm -hmm. You over there making up new math terms? <laughs> Polometry, <laughs> geometry. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> what is it? Okay, poly. <laughs> poly. <laughs> poly. It's the same thing, like somebody cheating. On their partner is the same thing as like poly to you, basically. That's not what I said. Cheating okay. is absolutely disgusting. It's the lowest act uh, uh, that a man can do in life. I think it's the most cowardly thing that a man can do. Cheating is disgusting. And I absolutely despise despise that. I poly and cheating are two totally different things. All I'm saying is the girls, the guys that these women are laying their laying down and opening their legs for are, you know, messing with other women. The only difference between me and them is they're not building with them. I mean, it's cheating and being in a relationship with multiple people. These girls don't even be in a relationship, don't even be a situationship, and their number probably not even saved. Oh, my God. Okay, but still, like, you're in two separate relationships, and they have nothing to do with each other. Is that not, like, the same as cheating? Are we building together? What is the definition of cheating? Infidelity. Cheating. Exactly. Definition. Same thing. Act dishonestly or unfairly in order to gain an advantage or in a game or an examination. So if I am honest about my intentions and we agree that that is the, the rules or the boundaries of like. But that wasn't what y'all agreed on. Y'all agreed on a bisexual woman, correct? To benefit all of them. <laughs> So uh, initially, initially, but the, great, the the thing about this is, I feel like building with the woman transcends having sex with the woman, and a human's greatest ability is the ability to. Okay, but you said your queens mean everything. You, you said mind. you said your little three things is loyalty and commu You said communication, and if y'all communicated something, why would you go against that? If that's one in your top three or whatever. Because I don't want to just be the guy that's humping on random girls. Like right. respectfully, I've been there, done that, and I think it's trash. And I look at myself, my past experiences with absolute disgust. Um, I think if I have the power to help a woman, you know, like change her life for like the better, and I can build with her and like legitimately pour into her, I think that's just way better than just giving up a good peanut. I mean, giving up good. You know what? All right, well, how old was um, Shanice? How old were you when you met Sean? Yes. 
Okay, so Sean, how are you? How Olivia? How was um you and you met Sean? You were seventeen, right? Heck no. Eighteen. So I became the friend. I became a friend when I was eighteen. Um, romantically together, nineteen. Okay, so you met Sean when you were seventeen, and then no, you no, found no, romanticism. No, no, no. That's not what I said at all. Okay, eighteen. All right, eighteen. So you you got romantic with Sean when you were nineteen or twenty. Correct. Correct. Okay, so what did he find in you that made it seem like, oh, yeah, this is the one I want her? And he was twenty. What Shanice? Shanice was like the age difference. You get what I'm saying? Like the age gap. That's like eight nine year age gap. What did he see in y'all that he was like, oh yeah, like he would be she would be a perfect fit. Uh, that's a question for me or him? Both of y'all, really. Okay, so can you repeat the question again, please? Okay. What did you see in a 20, uh, a 35-year-old man at your age? He's definitely 30. Um, what did I find in 30-year-old man? The fact that we're, like I said, very much aligned and we want the same things. And we're very, very, very similar. We're both business minded. We are our first priority in business, and the values that we hold is helping people first, impact over income, and um, yeah. All right, whatever. Oh, uh, okay, whatever. Cause that's just nasty to me. Like I do not see myself dating no old, no old as me. Really? That's that's a preference. At the end of the day, that's a preference. So if you leave Sean, you would still go for a man his age. I don't know. All right, it's just him. Okay. And he married. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Just do it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Tasty craving. Faith in Yahweh. Yahweh. Faith in Yahweh. Oh. Yahweh. Yahweh. You are here. Hey, I'm in the dark right now, so it really. I'll, I'll turn on the camera, but I'm in the dark. I'm laying down next to my daughter. Um, hey, so I have a question. Um, it's, I don't know if you guys were already asked this. I missed a few lives, but I was watching you guys from, um, back in October of 2022. And Ooh, I just want to support it. Wow. Yeah. Like actually I wouldn't say I'm so much of a supporter when you guys popped up on my page, I was kind of alarmed at <laughs> the, the content, but, um, I wanted to know, like, because the dynamics seem like they have changed a whole lot since then, um, since you guys have blown up. Um, what, what, um, how, Shanice, how do you feel now that, um, well, from, from my perspective, it seems that uh, Sean gravitates more towards Olivia now? How, how do you feel about that? Does it, do you um, feel a difference at all? Do you feel any type of way, like? No, I don't think that at all. I um, honestly believe in regards to thinking, like in regards to like having a sense of humor towards people on the live and what they say, they agree a lot on what they think is funny, especially in regards to live. But I'm just a lot more chill. Okay, maybe my question wasn't really clear. So I feel like in when I first started watching you guys, that um, I used to see like it seemed like you know. Maybe something was going on at the time, but it seemed like Sean you, was more affectionate towards you. Um, you seemed to, it seemed, yeah, it just seemed like he was more affectionate towards you. Like when I was watching the lives now, it seems like um, sometimes he goes back and forth between who he's more affectionate with, but more often than not, I see that he's more affectionate with Olivia since October, 2022. Do you feel that difference at all? No, because what you're seeing is just like, what, two, two to three hours on live? I mean, but the two, three hours on live.
it's it's not consistent. So that's why, you know what I'm saying? It's not like it was like, it's not like at one point he was equally sharing the attention between y'all like he is now. Like, or even now, I don't really feel like he's equally sharing the attention. I feel like there's a lot of snide remarks and shade towards you a lot of times. I'm not sure what that's about. I kind of have an idea, but I don't want to jump to conclusions. But um, yeah, Deshaun, do you feel like... um. Do you feel like since the relationship has progressed that you've gravitated more towards Olivia or do you feel? Um, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Um, I think each relationship has its ebbs and flows. Um, as far as do I feel like I shift more towards Olivia and Shanice? More towards Olivia from Shanice. Mm. Okay. Okay, and um, Olivia, this question is for you. Um, I can't really get to answer, but go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, you took a pause. I wasn't sure if you were. No, 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 go ahead. Okay, uh, Olivia, um, <laughs> when what was going on in your life when you had, like, what was going on like in your home situation when you flew out to meet Sean or when you went to his house for the first time? Uh, so... I was in the Bay Area before I came to see the, the Bay. I was in the Bay Area before I came here. I was about in the Bay for a month or two months. I don't, I don't really remember. Um, but I was going over there because my mom was working over there. But actually, like I wasn't before then. I didn't see my mom for like probably a year. I haven't. I was like literally living in Virginia alone going to, you know, driving everywhere alone, all of that stuff. Um, and then I was like, I want to visit my mom for the summer. So I visited her in the Bay. Um, throughout the whole process, I was working, which basically being like a financial planner and um, yeah, helping with financial services, insurance, all of that stuff. So I was still doing the exact same thing I was doing, I'm doing right now, except mm -hmm. I'm at a very much more elevated level as well as um, I now have my king. Okay, so um, where, were you going to high school during this time that you were um, like living alone and driving, you know, driving yourself around? The, the, when you just mentioned you were living in Virginia, were you in high school at that time um, or was this after high school? This was for a way after. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so you were living a little bit after. Uh, a little bit after. Okay, because I, okay, because I, all right, so, um, I don't remember, it's all a blur to me. Like, that whole part of my life is like, a blur. I think so. Wait, so when you, when you decided to, I think you should, like, okay, then I'll have to look back at pictures. But to clarify, we started talking in June. 2021 that is when we first our first dm and it was not romantic okay all right we cool. started we got into a relationship in august 2022 so, so that's the timeline Okay, so Sean, to the last question that I had asked, because I'm sorry, a lot of the comments are saying that they I didn't let you finish and they want you to did you want to finish answering that as far as what um when I asked about you gravitating towards Olivia. I'll, I'll say this. I think that each relationship has its ebbs and flows. There's times where I'd be like, Olivia, don't even look at me. Um, and there's times where, you know, I think, you know, Shanice, way, you know, I'd be like, Shanice, just leave me alone. And I'm sure there's times where they'd be like, Sean, get your snapping turtle looking away from me. Um, I think every relationship has its ebbs and flows. You know, I would never sit up here and try to pretend to be perfect. I will say that for me, I will only continue a relationship if I really feel like I'm helping somebody reach their potential. And I feel like not only that, but I feel like I'm the best person to reach their potential. <laughs> um, so I feel like that would be more of a question for like Shanice, because that's the only way that I would like get rid of like a relationship or a question for like Olivia, if they feel like I'm the best person on the planet to help them reach their potential. Like I can sit up here and say, say how I feel, but I feel like it's not necessarily like valid, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Um, so, um, Olivia, 
uh, when you left, when you decided to stay in uh, San Diego with Sean and Shanice, um, did you just like, did you just leave everything behind? Like, did you still have your apart? Did you have a lease on your apartment? Like what, what made you decide like to leave kind of, you know, your life behind in Virginia and, you know, be in the relationship? Well, because I just knew that I was able to grow in this environment, but also super aligned with my mission. And like, my thing is that like, I've always craved, not craved, but well, that too, but I desire to like have a family. I don't know, it was just always within me at a very young age and to ha and create a family. So this was my chance to do that with somebody I'm super aligned with. Okay, did you feel that, um, did you feel a sense of pressure considering the fact that, you know, like, um, you know, you, he pretty much said, you know, if you weren't going to be his woman that you had to, you know, kind of like go. Did you feel a sense of pressure or did you feel like you were able to have enough time to make the decision to be in the relationship with him? Oh, I had a lot of time because... I remember we were talking and he was basically said, he basically, so he basically was like, you're not coming back to San Diego again after a certain dinner. Um, and that's only because at that dinner, like he saw that I didn't like him. Um, so he was like, I'm not going to have like a woman like sitting up in here. And we're like, I like you. And we're just sitting up like it, like we're we're sitting in my house. Like that's just not something what I what I want to do. I got too much res that. I got too much respect to put myself in a woman's friend zone. I like listen if if I'm a, if you're a woman and I'm talking to you, I'm either interested in like dating you or mm -hmm. that's it. Unless it's like a business relationship, like I have no interest in just having. No interest. Yep. And that was it wasn't like a bad thing. It's just I have too much respect for myself, knowing like I feel some type of way about somebody. And if they don't feel some type of way, like that's cool. Like I accept that. You don't like me, I get it. You don't see me that way, I understand that. But what I'm not gonna do is sit in the friend zone and hope one day she likes me. I knew that she liked me. Um but well, I, I can't say I knew. I had a suspicion, a, a, a deep suspicion. Um, and I feel like whatever you can confront, you can like handle. So yeah. that's what that's that's what we did. But there's no way I would ever just sit in a woman's friend zone. Like if you don't like me, I can I can take that. I'll just move on. I'm not gonna sit on the friend zone and like wait because if you don't, like it's your loss. Yeah. So when he told me that, I respected that completely because it's like understandable. I would say if I was situation was flipped, I would not want that either. So um, basically he was like saying like, I'm not asking you to go. I'm not asking you to like book a flight, spend the rest of your time here in San Diego. But after you leave, you're not coming back. And I was like, okay. So I had a lot of time to think. <laughs> he well, basically didn't tell, he didn't kick me out. So I had a lot of time to think about it. Okay, so I just want to ask something a little, so I could get a little deeper into that. Because um, in that same live, you had said that you called him bro, and he got really upset. So from from how long after? I guess you guys had the dinner the night the the day before he had that conversation with you, or how long? You mean the conversation how long? about the leaving. Yeah, about you. Like, if you don't want to be his woman, that you'd have to go. Yeah, when do we have that conversation? Yeah, how long after the dinner where you called him bro and he got upset? Oh, oh that dinner! Yeah. I, I confronted it right in front of it was a couple. Like, I just was, like, straight up. And she she was laughing. She thought I was joking. And I was just like, bro, like... Oh, so that was the same I'm not, night. Like, literally, I'm literally not joking. I literally told her straight up. I was like, well, babe, she called me bro. And I was like, yeah, this is going to be the last time I ever see you. Huh? I told her just like that. This will be the... I'm a very, My like, direct... Dropped. I'm a very... <laughs> direct person i'm not gonna lie to anybody i'm not gonna bullshit i'm not gonna do any of that there's nothing that these people can come up here and say that like they don't already know about i'm fully transparent i am as authentic as they come i am very 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 transparent um i feel like that's like my superpower so i just confronted it it was not disrespectful but i told her like yeah this is the last time i see you 
Okay, I just want to say really quick, I still have two more questions, but um, Shanice and um, Olivia, you guys are so beautiful. And, you know, like, I just want to say that because you guys are beautiful. And I don't necessarily approve of this whole thing or support it. But, yeah, I just want to let you guys know that you guys are so beautiful. So beautiful. All right. Anyways, um, Olivia, um, how did you feel from going like, you know, how did how, I mean, do you refer to people that you feel romantically about as bro or did you make the switcheroo kind of, you know, just Can you repeat it? I got I got a little distracted. Do you refer to people that you feel romantically about as bro? Like what made you go from calling him bro um, to deciding that you wanted to be in the relationship with him? You don't feel like that there was any sort of manipulation involved there? Like, you don't feel like you were kind of given an ultimatum? Honestly, deep uh, deep down, I did, like, was attracted by his intellect. And I was, like, attracted in one way. It wasn't technically romantic, but I was attracted to something of his. Because we clicked, like, we, like, hit it off, like, from the phone call. So, already from that, I knew that there was some sort of, like, chemistry there. Um, Not romantic right however in terms of why why was I like did I see it as romantic suddenly um it's honestly because like it just seems super aligned and also I was kind of like suppressing my pretty much desire for um for him basically I would say okay so you were kind of suppressing it until he kind of like brought it out of you yeah Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Shanice, um, when you came home and, you know, from deployment and uh, there's this new addition to the relationship, how did the dynamics change? How did you have to adjust in the relationship? What was, what did, what did, what were the changes like for you? Sharing space, uh, communication, being more transparent, that's about it. Can you be a little bit more in depth? Because <laughs> that's kind of vague. You know, obviously, you know, the sharing space is obvious. You guys are now in the same space. You you know, like, I want to know, like, how were your emotions? Like, how did you feel? Like, you know, obviously, I mean, as women, I feel like even whether you're in a poly relationship or whatever, you guys, uh, jealousy is a, is a normal human emotion that we all get. So, like, how did you deal with your feelings of being, wait, did, I, I'm I'm not gonna say, did you feel jealous? Because I feel like that's a stupid question. I feel like anyone would feel a little bit of jealousy in this situation. How did you deal with the jealousy that you felt? You know, like, for, how did you deal with any je jealousy that you felt when Shani's? I mean, when I'm, Olivia came into the picture? Not jealousy. I went it some long time in regards to like how I felt about Olivia. Um, I was confused about why uh, a woman was chosen that wasn't bisexual, but uh, in regards to like how our initial discussion in um, like adding an additional woman evolved, it evolved in regards to uh, that woman being uh, an asset rather than for uh, rather than prioritizing physical pleasure. Um, like in regards to Olivia. We had a lot in common, we were both vegan, um, and we got along the first time that we met. So I had already known her, and while I was on deployment, he was completely transparent in regards to like what happened or um, like the steps that he took, so. Okay, okay, so um, I have another question. It's kind of unrelated to- I have a question, question. I'll follow that. What was it that led you to like be open to like receive the new idea of the new dynamic between like you know me and Olivia because I'm guessing like it had to be like disappointing to you to not have like yeah, a didn't like her answer no, so, I, so how did you like internalize that and deal with that yes um I I wasn't particularly disappointed it what made me a lot more comfortable was just communication because being on deployment uh com communication or comms for for us in every single country and especially in transit between each country wasn't always guaranteed so um being in a sense of unknowing you know that definitely uh made me a little a little more re weary or uh i just wanted to like know more in regards to like what was happening and what about when you got like back 
like how did you like kind of like harbor and like deal with those because that's a very tough situation which i take full responsibility on and so i say i gotta be like a better leader and you know shout out to shanice i feel like i don't give her enough credit for making the best of a, a pretty uh difficult situation um so thank you for that <laughs> Um, with that being said, how did you like deal with like the negative feelings like when you actually like got back in and was here and like just the dynamics and everything was like different? Like, what did you do to kind of like combat those feelings? And maybe I shouldn't towards you, but like maybe they weren't negative, but just feelings that maybe weren't aligned with like having the best relationship possible. Mm -hmm. Communication. Mm -hmm. Did you say medication? Communication. Oh, okay. I was about to say, okay. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, Shanice, so are you still pursuing um, the Sephora squad uh, thing? I, I put in an application, yes. Okay, okay. So um, there was an, a clip that I saw the other night. I didn't actually get to see the live, but there was a pretty long clip that I watched where someone was asking you about it. And um, the response that Sean gave didn't seem like a cheerleader type of supportive response. It kind of was like, oh, if you, how did that make you feel? Um, I understand where he's coming from. Uh, he wants for us to be aligned and for us to do more things together. So I, I definitely understand his response. So, okay, so you understand her response, but how would you respond if Sephora Squad did want to take you on? What, what would that look like for the future of this relationship? If they, did. if they did, if they called you and they said, okay, we want to bring you on and you're traveling. I don't really know the whole thing behind that, but obviously you have to do some traveling. Would you pursue that or would you take into consideration what Sean said? Uh, well, I didn't know about um, most of that, you know, when I applied. So, so basically, I about the traveling and whatnot when we were online. Okay, so now that you, after you found that information out, do you feel like you would still take that opportunity if it were presented to you? Uh, because honestly, you have so many supporters on here, I wouldn't be surprised. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you prepared for what you would do if you were to get that call? Prepared? Yeah, like for traveling, whatever they need you to do for for if you were to become become a part of the Sephora squad. From what I've seen, I don't think it's it's what everyone like cracks it up to be in regards to like how much time is dedicated to it. Does that make sense? Okay, okay. So it sounds it kind of sounds like you're downplaying it now because of Sean's response, but that's that's just my perspective. It sounds like you're downplaying it because of the way he responded okay, because you, you seemed like you were excited about it. That's fine. Huh? I said, if you know more about the Sephora squad than me, that's completely fine. No, no, I don't. I don't. You're the one who applied. I, you know, I, I don't know more about it. I was just asking, would you take the opportunity, opportunity if presented? Yeah. But, um, okay, I don't really have much other questions. Oh, yeah, there is one more. Okay, so, Sean, do you eventually plan on... Um, do you eventually plan on having Olivia? Do you care about Olivia rekindling things with her family or having a a, a connection with her family absolutely, or Shanice? Absolutely, I um, absolutely would like to see her mom and her dad to be like super, super, super involved in her life, uh, and I think that they'll. Again, I don't want to speak too much on it because it's not really my place, um, but I definitely think like they'll like come around. 1000%. I feel like there's like a lot of misinformation and a lot of like, he said, she said, like he said, she said, I mean, like random TikTokers just going and saying all type of stuff, like just things you couldn't imagine, um, which leads a lot to like what you guys actually like see. But um, yeah, I, I definitely like encourage. I think family is super, super, super important. Okay. All right. Well, um, you guys have a blessed night. I'm going to go ahead and let's. Somebody else come up and yeah, have a great night. Thanks for having me on. Support. I can tell you watch a lot of lives so <laughs> from the questions you, you've asked. No, just the clips that I'll be seeing, but I did used to oh. watch a lot. Okay, got you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Have a good night. Bye. Just a lot of clips, huh? We got the clip monsters in this chat. Not the chat, the live. August, we're bringing you on, August. Tinker Hell.
Hello. Hi. Oh my gosh, your voice sounds so sweet. <laughs> How are y'all doing? Doing well. What's your name? Where are you oh, from? And let's turn How the camera on. Doing? doing good. Uh, doing good. Uh, sorry, I'm in the dark. <laughs> it's okay. Turn your camera on anyways. But um, my name is August. Okay. Yeah. I sent you the request. <laughs> is it on? <laughs> Oh yeah, I've seen that. Okay, my name's August, and I'm from South Carolina. Um, I just want to know, like, are y'all gonna do like vlogs and like trips and stuff, like go on vacation? And we were just talking about this. We were just talking about this. Yes, we are. Coming very soon. Okay. So any, like, trips planned right now? Yeah, one. Okay. Um, and Shanice, like, I just want to know, like, why did you just say yes, sir, to Sean just now? I don't know. I thought that was kind of weird how you just said, yes, sir. Nah. I don't. But that's, I mean, that's fine. You call your partner whatever you, you want. Okay. I call my love, my love. Okay. My, sister, my king, baby. Like, they're all terms of endearment. And respect. I have a question for I ladies. feel it. I, I feel have it. a question for the ladies. Um, Thank you, by the way, babe. Um, why do y'all act like it's such a bad thing to respect the man that y'all chose? Like, y'all chose to be in a relationship with this man. Y'all chose to accept him as your leader. And then y'all act like it's crazy to show respect to the person that you chose as your leader. What is it like choosing to be in a relationship with a man and then not respect the man that you're with? No, I definitely feel that. Um, I guess it's just because, like, I never called, like, a guy I was, like, dating or, like, in a relationship yesterday. So it kind of, like, I don't know. And then you seem kind of, like, mad when you were, like, whispering to Olivia. So I was just like, why did she need to just say yes, sir, to, like, whatever you had to say? But, um. I'm sorry, who's saying that? Yeah. I think I'm done. <laughs> you have a, you have a business. Thank you guys. That's a no. That's I do. Um, I do have a business. It's called Truly Brows. I'm located in Houston. I do um, permanent makeup. Ooh. Yeah. So if anyone wants the book. Yeah. What is um, thank makeup, you guys. What, is, what does permanent makeup do? What does that mean? Like, what what are the benefits of that? So, um, usually my clients are people who have like insecurities with like sparse brows. They don't have much um, hair on their eyebrows, or like you don't even have to do brows. It can go as far as freckles. People get freckles done and. Um, Lip shading, you can get your lip shaded any color. So, yeah, it's really just permanent makeup for girls who just want a little bit more enhancement. Awesome. So do you do all of that permanent makeup or only the brows? Well, okay, thank you, guys. I'm going to get somebody. Let's get somebody on here with, like, more questions. But thank you. Okay. Bye. April Darlene, you're coming on. Babe? Yes. Oh, yes, okay. Uh, uh, you there? Hello? Hello? All right, just kissing my nose. That looks weird. That's wild. That looks weird. Anyways, um, bring it up to a million likes, guys. A million One likes. million. Look at that screen, y'all. Yes, sir. 
shower away for a turn that's funny okay a million likes to bring the next guest on i'm gonna look through the guest and see please guys i'm looking at the request and gonna bring somebody on and we're about to hit a million so please get out of the shower now is your chance to get out of the shower <laughs> y'all are funny. Almost I love there. y'all. <sighs> One million likes. Thank you. One million likes. Right, awesome. Let me see. I've been a few hours, but I feel like days. I've been days, but I feel like was. Mm-hmm. Okay, just shiki, I guess. Mm-hmm. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hear me? Yes, but we can't see you. And your camera is not like able to turn on, so we got a bucha. I'm sorry. She had no ability to turn her camera on. Okay. Let's do a Miana, a Miana. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hi, how are you guys? Hi, how are you? I'm sitting in my car, so hold on, let me get it together here. Awesome. I did not think I was gonna get picked. I'm gonna just be honest. Well, you are here. <laughs> I saw you were like a blogger. Is that right? That's right. Yes, you said skincare. The skin, skin glowing. So you know she has game, guys. Okay. Give us our like top number one skincare tip and game you have for people. So my number one skincare tip is consistency is the magic. That's it. Period. Consistency okay. is the magic. You in St. Louis? I am. That's crazy. Emo's pizza. Yeah. Send me some. Send me some Emo's pizza. I miss it. Okay, Red Hot Red Blitz too. Come on now. Only if it's got the best soda with it. <laughs> the best? The best. <laughs> it's seeing you White Castles too, Sean. Come on, White Castles as well. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get some of them gas burgers. <laughs> right? <laughs> they're they're uh, what we call the midnight burgers. Oh, yeah. The night. I haven't had that stuff in so long. Makes me want to go back. Not. Nah. I, I feel you. I feel you. Once you go outside of the Midwest, there's nothing here. So I understand that. So, um, hi, Shanice. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, girl? Good. Okay, so I have a couple of questions for all three of you. Um. Sean, I want to start with you, but I'm going to save you for last because I don't want you to kick me off. <laughs> what's your, what's your, what's your uh, what school did you go to? I went to Belleville East. 
So oh, I'm actually 15 minutes away from St. Louis, yeah, 45 know. minutes away from Belleville. Edwardsville. I know you went to school there. Belleville East is ratchet. No, that's Belleville West. No, nah, oh, now it's West. Okay. Yeah. Well, it, it might be ratchet now. I graduated in 2003, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's kind of, I couldn't even tell you. It's been 10 years, so. But yeah, go, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to start with Shanice. Yes. No, no, no. And I, I, I want to be said, very. The comments huh? you got to start, the comments said you got to start with me. I don't want to get kicked off. A risk you gotta take. Okay. No, nah, I'm, I'm fucking with you. Go ahead. Start with Shanice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna look at these comments because they're about to throw tomatoes. So um I do do skincare. However, I'm a serial entrepreneur. And one of the things that I do, I'm a certified life coach. I'm also a neuro-linguistic practitioner which means I just read body language and, um, you know, I just have a lot of expertise in those things. So Shanice, um, I know that you get this question a lot, so I'm going to try to rephrase it in a way that it does not seem like it's always asked. When you were on deployment, before you went to deployment and you and Sean were together in a relationship, you stated that you got had a conversation regarding polygamy and the definition at that time was that you guys were going to basically be in a relationship where all three of you were active um, across the board okay physically sexually whatever you want to say that was the conversation before you went to deployment when you came back from deployment, the definition changed for you. And I want to know, um, how, did, how did he convince you that it was more of a benefit to have another woman in a relationship with him and not yourself and say that it's because you guys are building and that the sexual benefit is, is no longer the first priority when he is still benefiting sexually with the both of you. So to clarify, um, the discussion uh, of like, of having someone as an asset versus physical pleasure happened while I was still on deployment and before Olivia uh, had even come down to San Diego or before she was even in the picture. Um, so yes, that, that was number one. That happened while I was on deployment and um, the discussion then was, hey, I don't want to give my energy to random women. And I agree, like you shouldn't give your energy to random people. Um, so instead, instead of just having people around for a good time, like we should also be building with these women. We should also be investing with these women. They should be assets. Does that make sense? So that was the, that is how like the idea uh, transformed and that's how the idea uh, evolved while I was on deployment. Just to clarify, um, yes, it didn't change when I got back. Okay, so since you just said to clarify, because you did mention a couple of times before the story was switched and switched again and switched again, that you were not really aware that L Olivia had moved in because of lack of communication while you were on deployment. I knew Olivia was here. I knew Olivia was here when she flew down. Like I was, I, was, I had service at the time and I was sent a picture, but that was when they weren't romantic. But they were, they became romantic while you were on deployment, correct? All of this happened while I was on deployment. And that's where you said it was lack of communication because when you met her, it was just business only. But when you came back from deployment, he was romantically involved with this girl. Correct. Um, and also, like, she wasn't here for that complete duration of time between the, the business meeting and, like, uh, them being romantic. Okay. 
Okay, I'm, I'm going to get off Olivia when it comes to you because I just want to speak to you. So you, I've watched a couple of your nows, like your stories where you catch all these angel numbers, so to speak. And um, you're very keen on stating that you are about relationship and not religion, that you, excuse me, are a, you have a spirit, you're more spiritual, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, coming from a Christian background, you said your dad was a pastor and so were your uncles, right? My grandfather, great grandfather, uncles, yes. Okay. And was that a Christian, Christianity? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I kind of get why you state that you're more spiritual and it's about the relationship than the religion, which I agree. Um, but with that being said, with the spiritual walk with the Most High, um, do you not feel convicted at all that not only um, are you operating in polygamy, and I'm not to judge that's the Most High's job, but the aspect of being with someone that is married, I mean, he's still married, whether he's legally separated or not. Do you not feel any type of conviction being with not only being with a married man, but sharing this married man, not with his wife, because that's still his wife, but with a whole nother 20 year old. All right, but so, you are uh, in a spiritual uh, walk. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, 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 let's get this like clear. I'm separated. Right. There's like documentation on all of that. Like, I don't want to continue to like speak on that, but like that's being like, like handled, like as we like speak. So like a piece of paper says that that's about it. Like, that's it. So, so like, let's not, not make that like a point. Cause it's not, let's not make it bigger than what it is. Cause there's plenty of people who have try that marriage and fail that marriage and they start dating again. Divorces can be very complicated. They can take years, some can take months. It just totally depends. And there's a lot of factors that go into that. So again, like, let's not like harp on that because you're trying to make it seem like something that it's like not. It was clear- I, I'm not trying to make no, it no, seem no, like something so, that it's not. No. But you, but you, but you really are though, because like you're trying wow. to make, it, because you're trying to make it seem like, oh, like I'm still like talking to like my wife, like messing with their sleeping, like okay, yeah, there is a a, a document that is it, and it's like being like handled. There's nothing else, nobody can do about. It. it doesn't change like literally like anything. Like there's okay. so many people. There's there's literally there's literally like so many people that are like married and like dating. Like please. <laughs> That doesn't make it right, though. But Shanice, right, well, can you answer say, the I'm question? Gonna just, I'm going to just say this. If you want to have another reason to judge her or belittle her, you do that. But I will say this. I fail is a lot better than like, what if? At least I had the balls to give a woman commitment. I failed at it. So what? Most men don't even have the courage to even attempt a marriage. Most women, most men are sitting up here literally being with a girl seven, 10 years, have a baby buyer, have another baby buyer, and still are afraid of marriage. I tried at marriage, I lacked the leadership skills, I failed at it. It's being handled, what is the big deal? She knows about it, there was no lying about it. I was honest about it, I was transparent about it. So what is the big deal? You're trying to make it a big deal and it's not. It's a okay. piece of, it's, no, it's a, literally a piece of paper. And I feel like you're trying to like attack her character about something that like is more about principles than paperwork. That's already being like handled. So stop that. I'm not going to let you come for her or make her feel uncomfortable about it. Shanice, are you uncomfortable with the question? Yes. Okay, moving on. We're still on this spiritual journey though. So if we take off paperwork and we take off divorce and, and all of that, as a spiritual woman, as well as a queen, right? Um, are you not at all worried about the spiritual soul ties that this man is, is bringing you and will continue to bring you with six other women introduced into this dynamic? I'm not are you worried about the soul ties that you're going to take part in while this man is unprotected sleeping with the both of you and want to add six more women? I am not worried. And why is that? Um, because 
To be honest, like I trust my love and his judgment. Um, so who he brings around us and who he decides to include in our dynamic is something that I'm not worried about. Okay, who he who he physically brings to your dynamic is one thing. Who he spiritually brings to the dynamic is two totally different things that nobody really can see on the physical on the physicality of the of it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Y'all are exchanging the the most high, the most powerful energy transfer, which is sexually. So how how are you combating a physical dynamic that he's bringing in than a spiritual one that you can't see until you're affected by it. Well, I'm not combating that now. Um, and just to reiterate what I said before, like I trust his judgment and that includes spiritual. Okay, so you guys have talked outside of this live about spiritualness because Sean has threw in a couple of Bible scriptures through the live that was kind of twisted to um, his a point that he was trying to prove at the moment. And I, then with the I, whole I, who, who's your I read, king I read talk. The scriptures straight out of the Bible. What did that twist? When you made the comment about um, wives submitting to their husband and things like that when you're no one's husband except for your future ex-wife so let me get this straight you feel like because the government what about the people that get married under god and they don't involve the government are you saying that their marriage is illegitimate because there's people that do that every single day are we talking common law marriage? I'm asking you what you think. You mean to tell me if somebody doesn't involve the government in their marriage, even if they go to a church, even if they do it all the right ways, but because they don't sign that piece of paper, which is all that it is, you mean to tell me you feel like it invalidates their marriage? Is that correct? I think marriage yes. for me, because you're asking yes. me, so let me answer. Let right. me answer, Sean. Because marriage is more than a piece of paper. It's actually a covenant. Yes, I agree. Now, I, I'm a spiritual, uh, I have a spiritual walk as well. And I know that marriage is more than a piece of paper. That's just what you do legally for the government. But it is a covenant. I agree with that. But you okay. also, you also, if you do not go to the courthouse and sign that little piece of document, the government will not put a certificate on it. Which if you look up a certificate and what is derived from, what is derived from, it means that somebody's making money off of it. That is literally it. There's financial implications when it comes to that. I don't even want to go too much into that. But you mean to tell me because somebody does not want to sign a piece of paper, then it somehow invalidates everything that they do and God does not recognize the marriage. Is that correct? When did I say that? That's exactly what you said. That's exactly what you implied. Sean, because you like to twist words. No, 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 no. You didn't ask about, you're not asking about, um, I mean, you said a couple questions about our spiritual connection, but you're trying to imply that I'm still married because of like a piece of paper. When you just said it yourself, that spiritual, emotional, and physical connections all transcend a piece of paper, which is my whole point. You can't have it both ways. So I'm gonna ask you straight up and I would like a yes or no answer. Are you telling me that if two people get married, literally involve their church, have their families there, do all that, they've been with each other for years, they love each other, they have a family that you get together. If they decide to not sign a piece of paper to involve the government, you're saying that God does not look down and count that as a marriage. Is that what I'm hearing? Biblically, yes. That might be the stupidest thing I've heard since I've been doing this live. Biblically, yes. Biblically, yes. So back to Shanice. So just to make it, just to make it, just to make it, hey, come on. <laughs> so just to make it perfectly clear, you feel like if people don't sign a piece of paper, they're not married under God's eyes and their union is all for not. Is that correct? So are you referring back to the ancestors that you like I, to throw I, I, up I'm when it's convenient you, for you? I'm just, I'm just asking you a very simple question. That's how you feel. Is that correct? Are you using this for the ancestor talk, Sean, that you like to conveniently use for your game? I'm just asking you a simple question. 
I've already answered that question. All right, so let me get this straight. When we were back in our ancestors, back in the day, before we could even legally get married, because there was a time we in, in this country where we couldn't legally get married, legality and morality are two different things, where we couldn't legally get married. Those same people who got married and had relationships and had babies are the exact reason why you're here so for you to invalidate their union that god looked upon and they did all that suffering so you could be here you wouldn't even be here without them without those marriages without those friendships and relationships i think it's totally disrespectful totally disrespectful okay and that's great would you like do they need to rub your arm because you're getting upset because now i'm on to you sean i'm on to you because what you like to do what you like to do is twist words what you like to do is talk over somebody what you like to do is try to twist words to have it be in your advantage and then you try to walk off oh you're gonna play the music okay here's a station just for you Bro, that's wild. That's crazy. I it's so agree. crazy the way people think, bro. I we fought for it. literally hundreds of years for even the right to do that, bro. That's wild. And she's just going to completely invalidate 300 years of our history because of that. It's so short sighted. That's wild. I do my thing. That's crazy. And crazy. for me, like, I think it's very unfair for her to try to put you in a position and make it seem like something that like it's not, you know? Okay. Okay, Sophia. <laughs> Hello, sorry. Hi, Hello? Sophia. Hi, yeah. oh my God. Okay. Damn, I'm the live, I swear. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> sorry. I've been watching you guys. I can't believe I got on the live. All right. So I have a question basically Wait, about- what's your name? Where are you from? Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm Sophia. I'm in Houston right now. Got you. How, um, how long have you been watching? I'm in Miami. Okay. So I- just wait, wait, how long have you been watching us, Sophia? I'm sorry, before you get into Oh, this. okay. So my boyfriend's been watching you guys since you had like 600 views. And he told me about you guys. And we watch you every single night. Um, like a show. So first, I want to know, are you guys going to be getting a show anytime soon, like a reality show? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, the second question is, what is the reason for this live? Like, is it to spread the word about poly relationships? Or is it to, like, promote your business? Like, what's the point? Have good conversations, connect with people that are positive throughout the world. Do you have a point or an objective, babe, for doing this live? Yeah, I mean, impact like many people positively because we get a lot of positive messages, even though we get a lot of hate. So we get a lot of positive and inspirational messages. Okay. Okay, also another question. Do you guys get paid from TikTok? Like, how do you make money off this? Is that the point? Very insignificant amount, and we've never taken a deposit from TikTok. Okay. And then also, how did you guys get this to, like, start going so viral? Because you guys have, like, a lot of followers. Like, well, you don't have that many followers, like, TikTok followers, but you get a lot of follow followers, like, on your live. So how do you guys do that? We just do yes. And it's very- Shout out to them, man. I mean, shout out to them for, you know, tuning in. So yeah, you would have to ask them that. I don't know. We just- But like, do you have, like, do you know, like the TikTok algorithm? So you go live like, at a certain time a, every big, night? It's too big of a word for me. I don't even know how to spell algorithm. I don't, God, you, you know always say that, but I don't believe you. You always say that, but it's not true. Like you say that you're dumb and, re and like stupid and all that stuff, but- you're obvious, like you obviously don't think that you're stupid. Um, so why do you say that? How many times a day you hear me say I'm stupid? <laughs> <laughs> like at least five, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, where'd Shanice go? She's right there. She's over there teasing Hi, me. Hey, I love you, Shanice. I love you, Shanice. I like I like all of you guys, but Sean, I feel like sometimes the way you talk about stuff is kind of like 
crazy. Like, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, no, I mean, I I get where you guys come from. I definitely see why you guys, you know, feel that way. Like, very different. The things I say are different, and I'm also very firm in my beliefs. And I think oftentimes, like, like people, I just don't want to see people, like, people can say what they want to say, but don't just, like, try to, like, attack, like, my family, you know? Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but, like, do you feel like, like, some of the things, some of the, sometimes the things you say, it sounds like you want to start, like, a cult and be, like, a cult leader. Like, is that what you want to do? I don't even know what a cult is. (laughs) A cult leader? Like, Charles Manson? Do you want to have, like, a big family? No, I don't. don't, So, you know Charles Manson, so you know what a cult is. Everybody knows Charles Manson. Okay, so you know what a cult is. All right. I really don't. I don't. Like, I know that they, like, did some things that were not, like, legal, and I would never go and tell people to do things that are, like, illegal. So, no. Okay. So, when you get, like, your six wives or whatever... Seven. Are you gonna? Are you guys all gonna go on live? Seven queens, maybe. Okay. Okay. Well, that was my only question. I really just wanted to know, basically, like what the whole point of the live was. If it was to spread awareness for like poly relationships, or if it was just to like go viral the or to, to meet cool people. To meet cool people. Is, you know what I mean? Like, I just wanted to see what the whole point of the live was and like how you guys do how you guys have been going so viral and why isn't it translating into like followers like the way you guys go viral you should have like a million followers i think i think they're i think they're both growing pretty fast Mm -hmm. i mean I i mean i think you're i saw your instagram and i think you have like, a lot of followers, but then, like, I went to Shanice's page and, like, Olivia's page, and they're not as much, I guess. And then why do you guys, like, why do you guys ignore people when they first get on? Like, are you trying to be rude, or is that, or is it just, like, you guys are tired and you do this a lot? No, it's just panels. We get a lot of messages, a lot of text messages. It's at the end of the day, people blow us up, so we just try to multitask. We never mean any disrespect um to people it's just you know it's also a panel a lot of the times if somebody's not talking directly to us we don't know if they're going to be like talking to us could be talking to shanice could be talking to me could be talking to olivia we never mean to be disrespectful okay no i get that and then i just want to say one other thing i totally disagree with people saying that like olivia is so young and like it's because she's 20 years old people like she is 20 years old i'm 26 and my boyfriend's 36 well 35 and there's nothing wrong with wanting to be with a man that is older than you because like i'm sure olivia you feel like being with someone that you don't want to be with like an immature 20 year old you know so, okay, so I just wanted to say that also, like, I don't agree with, like, what people are saying about the age thing, and if you guys want to be in a poly relationship, like, really, who cares? But that's why I wanted to see what the whole point of the live was, like, if you guys are confident in your relationship, what's the point of, like, going on live and defending it all the time and having people talk shit I, to you I, all the time? I think, if, I think, listen, when you when you have a high level of self-confidence what the negative stuff that people say to you doesn't really like affect you right so with that being said i think it takes i think it speaks a lot to our character i think it speaks a lot to our confidence that we do get up here and say this stuff i'll let people say with anything anything they want to say but some people just go completely overboard and get totally disrespectful um, and then at that point again they start breaking tiktok's guidelines a lot of the times when we kick people off it's not even because like Oh, they made us so upset. It's just the fact that, like, sometimes people will get your stuff banned, like, by the things that they say. That's kind of like happened to us. That's happened to a lot of like influencers. So it's thirty thousand people here. I think it's unfair for one person just because they don't like us to say things that could get an account banned when we're like it's thirty thousand people here. So a lot of times when we like boot people, it's really doing what's best for like kind of like everybody, so everybody can keep enjoying it. Because I'm pretty sure if you guys have been following us, you guys have seen that happen so many times. 
Okay, and then do you guys, like, do you like when people bring drama and, like, fight with you guys, or do you if that's not? What they choose, if that's what they choose to do, um, they can, you know, absolutely do that. But, you know, you sit here talking to a 20-year-old Blasian Holly Berry. I mean, just look at her. Look at them edges. She is beautiful. She's They're both gorgeous. beautiful. She, Denise she's, is you know really what? beautiful, too. You know what's, you know what's going to be? You know what's crazy? She's going to do five figures this week in production and instead okay, of them I asking think. about instead of them asking about business they ask about you know the drama people can ask about anything i i, I would prefer they ask about you know if you gonna ask about the drama at least get some type of business advice right and that's not saying we're like the the, the experts but uh, you know i think people can learn a thing or two from us um and then you got shanice over here she you know saving lives every day and the, the the best thing question i gotta ask her is when you was in middle school did you know you would be in a poly relationship <laughs> like it's like <laughs> It's like, man, can you have an extra well, question? So, no. you know, we, we like to give people the freedom, you know? We don't want to limit it. Let, let, let people do them. Okay, okay, but, okay, so I, I do have one question that you guys probably won't like, but if you have, like, I know you say, like, you run a business and everything, and, like, I get that because I know there's a lot of, like, business expenses that go into that, and so you don't, like, see, like, all the money, even if you say, like, you make $40,000, like a day or whatever, I know that like you're not seeing all that money necessarily and it's not just free money. But if you guys making that much money, why don't you buy a house? Like why are you in an like why are you in an apartment that's eight thousand yeah. when you could just buy yeah. a house? Because like aren't you looking towards like Olivia yeah. said, like you're trying to do get assets right now. So like why don't you why don't why haven't you bought a house? You know, that's a great question. Um where do you live by the way? I live in Houston right now. Yeah, so I live in San Diego. So a, a million dollar house out here is like a three bedroom, four bedroom okay. house. I, yeah, I I know that California is like really super, expensive. Super expensive. So if yeah. you want to get a nice house, like if this condo was for sale, it'll probably be between like it'll probably be like three mil, just because of where it's at the location. So my point is, okay, we're gonna buy a house. How much? And you need 20% down, 10% down, whatever. So we buy like a $2 million house, put $400,000 down. How much money is that going to pay us every month? What do you mean? It's so, you need to stop running and paying someone else's mortgage. You need to buy your own house. If you're making that much money, you need to buy yeah, your own house. But like, let's just, again, how much money is that going to put in my pocket every month? Like if I just put four hundred thousand dollars down on a house, how much? Like how, how big of a check am I gonna get? You're gonna get equity in your house. You need. Yeah, a, you're like literally paying someone else. You can't. Else you can't. Okay, you can't, okay, you can't okay. Okay. okay, I get so that. Much, but do I get it? Do it. Listen. Do I get a check from it every month? Of course, you're not going to get a check from right. it. But as, like, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, it's the opposite. On a two two thousand two million dollar home, that payment is probably going to be about ninety five hundred dollars. Uh, a month, or no, probably like eighty-seven hundred dollars a month. So I'm gonna have to pay eighty-seven hundred dollars a month. I, I put four hundred thousand down, and I gotta pay eighty-seven hundred a month. And then if I miss a payment, or if I miss three payments, they take my house. Nice. So you could do it, but for me, hold on, hold on, hold on. But for me, I think it would be a smarter move to take that four hundred thousand and put it into a laundromat, put it into a trucking company, put it into an e-commerce business, put it into something that's going to give me a check every single month. And once I'm making twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars a month in cash flow, then I can use that money and buy a home. And I'm not paying for the home out of my pocket. My assets are paying for the home. So for us, I consider a home a liability. Anything that doesn't put a check in your pocket every month is a is a is a a, a liability. I mean, I, okay. 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 So another question I have, do you go into work or do you work from home? Like, do you guys all work from home? Are you guys always with each other working from home or do you go into work? Oh, and what kind of car do you have? Well, I'm in the Navy, so I go to work. Okay. I work from home because I run my own business. Yeah, and then I work from home as well, and then I don't drive, um, but the next car I'll be getting, I'm going to get a Plaid. I'm going to get a Tesla S Model Plaid. I have a Tesla X, or a uh, Model Y. Period. Yeah, those are not. Tesla's okay, but 
Okay. Um, so you said, Sean, that you go into work. Is that what you said? No, I work from home. You work from home. So, so you and Olivia work from home together. Yes. Okay. Okay. I mean, that was really all I had. Does that, does, oh. that, does that make sense, though, our example about, like, why you don't want to, like, why we choose not to buy a home? Okay, I, I could see that, but, like, you guys should move somewhere that's not so exp so expensive. Like, I used to live in Miami, and I moved to Houston, well, Katy, because it's way cheaper. Like, you should literally move somewhere else where it's not so expensive to buy a house. Like, what's the point of even being in San is, Diego? Yeah, one is beautiful. Um network we're here and i think that this is the trick that they teach you guys they try to tell you guys to enjoy the life you have just enjoy life appreciate life instead of creating a life that you enjoy okay i'm gonna say it again they try to teach you to enjoy life rather than creating a life that you enjoy i think people should create a life that they can enjoy you guys don't have a spending problem. You guys have an income problem. You can afford don't whatever. Don't say you guys. You guys. Don't, don't listen, say me. Listen, no. I have created listen, my listen, life. Listen, I said you guys, not you, which means there's 30,000 people here. It's not all about you. I get that you're up here, but it's about the 30,000 people watching. So with that being said, you guys have an income problem. Just increase your income. You guys can afford everything. Cars are man-made. Houses are man-made. Why Everything's man-made, okay? Which means you can have it. So yeah. again, we listen. We want to help you guys with when it comes to that. And I haven't done a call CTA all day. If you guys are watching this, you guys do have like, you know, a 700 plus credit score and you want to add a couple strategies to make 10 to 15,000 a month. If you are watching this, you got a 700 plus credit score, you want to make 10 to 15,000 a month. DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore Adams. I only got one account. DM me free game on Instagram. I'll teach you for free. How to make fifteen thousand? Guys, I gotta get off. I gotta get off. Everyone's so mean to me. I gotta go. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Um. So listen, guys. Listen. None of you guys have a a a, a spending problem, and you have an income problem. You just gotta get your income up, man. You guys can afford anything you want. So with that being said, man, we want to give you guys strategy that you guys can use to you know take care of your family, take care of your church, take care of your community. With that being said, DM me on Instagram, free game, if you got a 700 plus credit score, and I'll teach you for free how to make ten dollars to $15,000 a month, okay? Olivia, how much you making, how much you gonna do this week? Five figures, multiple five figures? Let's do five figures. This, okay. Let's do it, man. If, if you guys, you guys yeah. gonna let a 20 year old out earn you, come on now, that's crazy. So, with that being said, with that being said, man, we're not here to spit on anybody, we're here to help you guys, man as strategy to your life. You guys can ask us about relationships, friendships, whatever. Um, we're always transparent as what you guys know that. DM us, DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore. I've only got one account. So one with the blue check. I've never asked you for money online. Um, I, I, and I've never asked you for your credit card. DM me on Instagram, free game, if you got a 700 plus credit score. And I'll, you know, uh, teach you how to make ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month for free. And if you guys are like, oh no, I'm cool, man, it's because probably because you're selfish, man. You guys got to think about who you can help. All right, money is not the most thing that's going to motivate people, right? Purpose will. What is your purpose? Is your purpose to quit your job? Is your purpose to take care of your family? Is your purpose to take care of your church? Is your purpose to take care of your community? Is your purpose to help those in need? What is your purpose, man? Um, and you guys got to start living by that, right? So with that being said, for those of you guys that do have purpose and you guys just want some strategy on how you can, you know, make more money, uh, 700 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore Adams, uh, free game, and I'll teach you for free. So the one with the blue check, I only got one account. All right, and for my guys, if you guys are watching this, man, listen, when you become successful, man, you're going to get a lot of haters, bro, right? You guys have no limitations at all, all right? None. None, none, none. People are going to try to place limitations on you, man, but don't listen to them. So with that being said, for my guys, if you want to go learn to make 10 to 15,000 a week, not 10 to 15,000 a month. For my kings, man, we need more strong kings, strong kings, 700 plus credit score. You want to learn to make 10 to 15K a week, DM me on Instagram. Mentor, if you got a 700 plus credit score and you want to actually add strategy, you want to get the skills, tools, mindset and resources to become a seven figure entrepreneur, DM me on Instagram for my kings, man, my kings. We got, we need more strong leaders in the world. If you got a 700 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram, mentor. Um, it's, I only got one account. 
never ask you for money online, okay? Um, with that being said, um, you want to bring on one more? How you going to do that, man? Sure, we can. Oh! Yes, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Wealthy Wednesday. So, if you are a millennial woman and you're looking to increase your wealth by 20% and beyond, you have, you're making money, right? You're making good amount of income to pay off the bills, but you got extra money laying around and you're like, what the heck do I do with it? What is the next step so I can get to that next building block of wealth? DM the word wealth to Two Cents Wealth on Instagram. Two Cents Wealth on Instagram is right here. And if you're looking just to get to that next step and you really don't know what to do and just have extra money every single month and you're just putting it in a savings account, these banks are disappearing. <laughs> I was talking to a banker today and like, People are not being able to withdraw money from their accounts. You need assets. You need to have your money growing and flowing. So again, DM the word wealth to two cents wealth right here. And let's work on some next steps so that you can build wealth. But that's that guys. Thank you for coming on. Appreciate you. Yo, follow Shanice on Instagram. Follow Olivia on Instagram. Yo, we had an idea at TikTok. Let us know what y'all think of this idea. I know everybody's be talking about the Airbnb, but we want to do a contest for the ladies. Three people, three contests. Have a contest, and y'all be the judge. I don't know if that's something y'all will want to like see. Is that is that what you want to see people dance on this this thing right here? Three of y'all. Three of you guys. Winner, winner gets, winner gets. What are we gonna do, man? We gonna do three, a, a K, two K, three K. Sure, we can. Three K. Winner gets three K. No professionals, though. No professionals. No professionals. Let us know if that's something y'all would be interested in. Something we was thinking about, but um, I think it'd be funny. <laughs> I think it'd be kind of funny. So, with that being said, Shanice, anything you wanna say? Go subscribe to our YouTube channel, San Diego Royalty. Yay, San Diego Royalty. Somebody said, bring me. Would you guys watch that though? A competition on the pole? Hopefully you can make it to us. Right. Anyways. I know, right? <laughs> so, um, and it, with that being said, man, we appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much. It's so awesome you. to see you all. Be great. Be Peace. great.